I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. One of the biggest challenges in this crisis, a shortage of the critical protective gear for frontline health care workers. I want to avoid pinching. What's your name? But a month ago at the dining room table, Lori and Kevin Hamama got an idea, a potentially game-changing, life-saving idea. So can you take big, big, deep breaths? Lori, a family doctor in Ohio, was worried. The N95 masks in her hospital were in short supply. I had a meeting that day and just mentioned, I'm afraid we're going to run out of N95s. I think I said, I don't know if I'm going to have a mask. That's when Lori's husband, Kevin, an engineer, asked a simple question. I said, why don't you just clean them up? And Lori said, well, what do you mean? Kevin works for Battelle, a nonprofit research institute that routinely tests for dangerous pathogens, and remembered a study they did five years ago showing medical masks could actually be cleaned and reused in an emergency. We hit the ground running Friday night. I think we were drawing schematics of what something <laughs> could look like. <laughs> it means you sat down with a paper and started drawing what this thing would yeah. be. <laughs> I was describing what the ICU looked like, where the airflows were. I mean, we were, we got into it right away. <laughs> By the way, you're obviously the perfect couple for each other. <laughs> the following week, testing on masks began. How long did it take to get this FDA approval? I think it was a total of 14 days where we had the green light from the FDA. Now, I don't know how often you guys work with the federal government, but that's that's blazingly fast. Yeah, I, yeah. I could, yeah. Here's how the technology works. A hydrogen peroxide vapor decontaminates the N95 masks. It takes about two and a half hours, and the masks can be cleaned and then reused 20 times. Each one can handle about 80,000 masks a day. That's a game changer for hospitals, yeah. isn't it? I mean, that's an entire hospital's worth over a few days. The decontamination systems are already being used in Ohio, Washington, and New York, and launched in Boston over the weekend. We can't get this technology up and running fast enough. With more scheduled to be delivered around the country. Do you guys sit there and just think, wow, we're so lucky that I had you, you had me, we had that moment? Yeah, I still don't think it's fully sunk in yet. It's overwhelming to think that it started with an after dinner conversation, drawing it out on a piece of paper and, and seeing if it was even feasible. A nurse in Ohio wrote to Lori to thank her, and she said she walked into her break room at the ICU and saw boxes of clean masks, and it felt like Christmas Day. And it's about to be Christmas Day in a lot of places in this country. Overnight, the Department of Defense said it was commissioning 60 of these machines worth $415 million on top of already pledging to pay for operational costs for the machines and other hospitals for an additional $400 million. They're going to be all around the country by early May. Back to you guys. Stephanie, wow. wow. Thank you so much. I love that yeah. story. I was on Long Island last yeah. week where they're actually using yeah. uh, one yeah. of the systems, and they've said it's a game changer wow. already. Wow. Uh, already. The nurse is seeing a fresh mask <laughs> yeah. and saying it's like Christmas. I mean, it just tells you everything you need to know. Good.